Peace be with you. Arrogance and pride are a disease that afflicts all human beings at one point or another. All of us have exhibited these behaviors at one point in our life, and there is always a chance that we may exhibit them again. It is very difficult to see when we are proud or arrogant because it is very, very difficult to see this on ourselves because we are so biased toward ourselves. That is just a reality of life. A lot of times we can exhibit arrogance and pride and not even notice it. To be arrogant or proud is one of the worst conditions that any Muslim can find themselves in because God says in the Quran, in the seventh chapter of the Quran, verse 146, and I will turn away from my communications those who are unjustly proud in the earth, those who are arrogant. And if they see every sign, they will not believe in it. And if they should see the path of righteousness, they will not take it as their path. And if they see the way of error, they will take it as their way. This is because they turn away from our communications and we're heedless of them. What God tells us, if we make arrogance and pride a pattern of our life, then even if we read, even if we see the right thing to do, we're not going to do it. God will turn us away from that which will save us if we are not careful and we do not control our pride and our arrogance. If you read through the Quran, you will see that the first sin, the very first sin committed by anyone is pride, is arrogance. When the, when, the, when the shaitan didn't want to bow down to Adam, he didn't want to prostrate to Adam, he said, I am better than him. That is arrogance and that is pride. So in every instance that we as human beings feel that we are better than somebody on account of anything other than our obedience to God, our moral character, and that is arrogance. If you talk to people whom you seem whom you deem inferior to you, whether they are somebody that you can physically overpower or somebody that uh, who is your subordinate at work or so on, if you do not show them the same kind of patience and respect you demand for yourself, then you are arrogant. If you judge others while you yourself sin and you think that you are better than them, and I'm not talking about correcting people on mistakes, I'm talking about, oh, this person is a sinner, they're, they're trash, right? And I am good because nobody saw my sin right? Then you are arrogant. There are so many manifestations of arrogance that we can recognize in our life that it is, it is all encompassing. Our every single day is filled with chances for us to exhibit our arrogance. And if we are not careful of it, if we are not aware what God wants from us, then we can certainly fail. And if we exhibit a pattern of failing, then God tells us it's over. Our test is over. Arrogance can end your test even before you die because God tells us in the Quran, I will turn away from my communications those who are unjustly proud in the earth. And even if you see every sign and even if you know what the right thing to do is, you're not going to do it. This is how dangerous this is. And I think every Muslim has to reflect every single day whether they are arrogant, whether they are being arrogant or proud. This is a part of life. For every Muslim. And as this is especially when you are dealing with people whom you deem that are that don't that you have authority over. So whether it's your subordinates at work or or even your parents or somebody that's smaller than you, right? A lot of times we exhibit huge arrogance when there are no consequences. So when we talk to our parents, we are disrespectful. When we talk to our subordinates, we are disrespectful. But when we talk to our boss or a cop or a police officer, right, all of a sudden we have patience. Or when we are talking about, uh, you know, <clears throat> a big guy that can overpower us easily, all of a sudden we find patience uh, and a way to communicate respectfully. <clears throat> this is a big deal. And all of us fail in this frequently. And if we are not aware of this, then... We can lose our souls. This is why this is important. Peace be with you.